Hello, everybody. Good morning, Chicago Patriot Prepper here. Uh, as always, I would ask that you please like, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up and notifications uh, so uh, more people can see my video and it helps with the algorithm. So thank you so very much. We're going to touch on a couple of things today. Uh, the one thing I wanted to tell you is about, I don't know if anybody remembers, uh, I started prepping, I don't know, about 10, 12 years ago, maybe, and uh, if you remember the uh, show Doomsday Prepper, so basically what it was, it was you didn't know better, you were watching these people, and um, the actual, the commercials for them, the advertisement, it was actually, it made it sound interesting, but uh, it seemed like some of them, they were like borderline comedy, I mean, I don't know if they meant to be that, be that way, but uh, it's almost like when they pick the, uh, what is it? Uh, America was it the boy I don't know what it was uh, when they would sing uh, with Simon Cowell and then they would bring the funny people up there and it's almost like they were bringing a bringing those people in the there was the uh, you know the one guy that got into the shootout with the seed guy who had the seed bank and they said it was over uh, marijuana he was selling marijuana and then the other guy that uh, blew something up in his yard I don't know if you remember, he blew something up in his yard, and all you hear was, uh-oh. And the other guy, that they were in an abandoned building, a brick building, so they decided to start a fire in the brick building. They stacked the wood up around the, they, you know, they leaned it up against the brick wall, and it looked like it was about six feet high, but the flames went about 12 feet high, and it caught the roof on fire. So, you know, a lot of people started prepping at that. So, uh so ever since then, I mean, if you if you watch a lot of these proper channels, the reason why I started this proper channel is uh, is because there's a, a lot of different takes. Oh, I would also like I will be giving some uh, information about the uh, the bullion giveaway towards the end of this video. Uh, get my paper here to remind me, but I have had, been hitting the head a lot of times, so sometimes I do have a short term memory loss. But. Uh, see, like I forgot where I was at now, but uh, uh, like I said, a lot of people, it's, uh, you know, they have their different take on prepping and a lot of the channels, it's almost like a lot of people know what they need to do to prep, most of them. I mean, they need ideas here and there, but the, uh, the evolution, I've been watching, you know, Canadian prepper for a long, long time. I mean, even before they even showed his face, I mean, he would just you know, be a voice and there'd be a picture. But the evolution of the channels, it's, uh, they went to more of like a hard news based type of thing, most of them. Uh, there's a couple that are fear mongers, you know, uh, the F-16s are ready, uh, and the, are, are loaded up and they're on the runway, you know, all that bullshit. But like I said, there are a lot of fear mongers. And I, and sometimes I step towards that, you know, like you, when you get carried away with that. So, uh, I am trying not to get carried away with that, uh, you know, uh, I try and take a step back and I make sure that all the information that I'm get that I'm giving you is viable. You know, I do I try and do research. I mean, I'm I can't even sleep at night. I'm up watching all this stuff and I'm getting upset around it. Uh, you know, the anxiety is setting in. But uh, like I was saying, a lot of them what we're doing is we're giving hard news because a lot of the media is not reporting it. But, uh, and I'd like to point out one thing that the uh, the war in Ukraine is pretty much, uh, you know, it's it's almost on the, the border of out of control, okay? I mean, all it's gonna, gonna take is, you know, one, like I said, I mean, you know, you had the, uh, the, all the NATO, the people from NATO got killed in that bunker not too long ago. You know, I, you know, you hear about it spots in here, but no one is really reporting on it. I believe 300 people got killed in that bunker by that hypersonic missile. And, uh, like I said, this war is going to come down to exploiting resources. And these people are getting murdered. I mean, they don't even... I mean, you're sending your people to the line on both... I mean, they don't even have ammunition. I mean, come on. I mean, you know, I mean... And then they're saying it's uh, Russia's criminal invasion of Ukraine. It's a war. I mean, what's... I mean... For whatever reason is, it's, it's, it's criminal. You're going to... Uh, uh, I mean, the people have been going to war for thousands of years. Thousands. And uh, how could you tell someone if it's against the law? They're in their country doing what they think is best. Uh, 
You got the journalists going to jail. Even in Ukraine, they put all the uh, the journalists in jail. Uh, you know, uh, Zelensky has a bunch of his political opponents. I mean, I think he put them in jail too. You know, so did Vladimir Putin. I don't know how many he has in jail, but someone told me that Zelensky had 11 of them put in there. My point being is that it's a war. And sooner or later, it's going to get, I mean, it's, it's, it's borderline. Once the people start thinking for themselves, the military, whether they're, they're commanders or not, once they start making their own decisions to attack and they stop following orders or they can't communicate, that's when it's going to get out of control. So, you know, people really need to think about it. They follow the last order which they were given. I mean, sometimes, I mean, even Japan, they didn't even know the war was over in Japan for a long time. They were still fighting. I don't know how long it was. But, I mean, there's just so much stuff going on in this world. I mean, honestly, I can't see us having peace if you look at it. We've been having problems, you know, for a long, long time with everything uh, in, in isolated areas. Now it's everywhere, okay? And I don't think we're going to have peace, any kind of anything even remote to peace for at least 10 years. Because remember, for some reason, you know, as smart as people are, the human races, we never learn our lesson from history. Uh, I mean, like if they're already doing this stuff with the, the, the banks are in trouble again. They went into that uh, lending out too much money again or over investing, you know, and I don't even really think it's the bank's fault. They were actually... They're a victim of the rates going up. So people started pulling their assets out and they want to invest in something else. But, uh, you know, um, on, um, I will be ending this video in a moment, but uh, uh, please, please stay tuned. I will be giving a bullion giveaway. Uh, stay tuned for deals. This will be a dual channel 2000 subscriber. Uh, please stay tuned for details. I always look forward to uh, hearing from you, and I enjoy talking to you. I don't know if I'm getting a little bit better at this because I'm not as camera shy as I was, but uh, please tune in. I appreciate it. I think you're the only people that listen to me. Uh, Chicago Patriot Prepper out. Have a good day. Goodbye.